Hi, welcome to this teachlet on how to add events to your Connexus Planner. In order to add events to your Connexus Planner, when you open up to your home page, you are going to look at your daily planner. You can either check the week or the month to add to your planner. When it opens up to the week or the month, you're going to select the day of the week that you would like to add something to. So for example, if I wanted to add something to Mondays, I am going to hover my cursor over the Mondays and click on it. It should highlight light blue, that way you know what day of the week you're wanting to add something to. When you click on Mondays or whatever day of the week you want to add something to, you're going to get a new appointment box that shows up. Here's where you're going to fill out your name of the appointment, the start time, the end time, and a description if you would like, and also if you want this event to reoccur week after week or every day or how often you would like to see this. So for example, in my name I might put Avid and I may give a description, work on assignments in Edmodo. Now for this kind of appointment, this is something that is going to remind me to work on my assignments. Some of you may have assignments that are populating through your message board or through email or through Google Drive and may not automatically come up in your Connexus Planner like your other assignments do. So this would be a way that you could add those assignments to remind you to work on them even if they're not populating in your planner. And so what I would do is I'm going to keep the all day checkbox because there's not a specific time I need to work on that on that day. It's just that that is something I need to do during that day. Once I add those things, I'm going to look at this recurrence button and I'm going to put a check mark in the box because this is something that I'm going to have to do every week and a few times a, and a few times each week. And so I want to make sure that it gets in there and I'm not having to remember to fill it out every single week. It will be just done for me. When I hit the recurrence button, I can decide how often I want this to reoccur. Do I want it to reoccur hourly, daily, weekly, monthly, yearly? For my case, I may want it to reoccur weekly and I want to have it reoccur every single week. So I'm going to put every one week and I want it to reoccur on Mondays and Fridays. So I'm going to put a check mark on the days of the week that I want this appointment to show up in my calendar. Once I have completed that, I'm going to click the save button. The save button allows me the knowledge of knowing that it's going to populate into my planner. And then I notice when I come back to my planner, it is there. It's at the bottom of the rest of my assignments. I have Avid on Mondays and Avid on Fridays. Again, notice there's not a specific time because it's not a live lesson that I'm going to or it's not somewhere I have to be at a certain time. It's just something that I need to work on. It's just one of my assignments. However, if I did want to make sure I had a specific time, for instance, it was a live lesson, here's what I would do to make sure I knew what time that live lesson started. I'm going to go back to that new appointment and where it says all day and there's a check there in that box, I'm going to uncheck that box. So what I'll do is I'll put my cursor there and uncheck that box. I uncheck that box. This is what will happen. I will have times available. I can select any time during that day for um, that live lesson. So maybe my live lesson is from 9 to 10. So on the start time, I'm going to put 9. And for the end time, I'm going to put 10. If I want to give myself an extra reminder, I might put in 8.55. So I give myself time to remember that I needed to go into that live lesson. I give a five-minute warning. And then again, I want to hit reoccurrence because live lessons are something I'm going to go to every week. So I'm going to put weekly, reoccurring, one a week. And then I'm going to put the day of the week that that live lesson is on. So for example, my live lessons may be on Mondays every week from 9 to 10. And again, I'm going to hit save. And then my live lesson will populate. Notice that this time, my live lesson, my avid live lesson, gives me a specific time. It says 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. So I can do one of two things. If I want to just put in assignments that I need to work on that didn't come in in Connexus like the pink ones did, then I can add an assignment and I will keep the check marked boxed for all day. I'll keep it checked. However, if I want a specific time, I'm going to uncheck that all day time. 
and I'm going to give it its specific time. Thank you. And if you have any further questions, feel free to email myself or any of your other teachers on help with your planner. Thank you.